Welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, I've gone to investigate the new uh, free fight mission that was unlocked when I defeated Holly Summers. And unfortunately, there's a complication. God damn it. Ahem. A complication, as you can plainly see. I don't know which one it is. This is silly. But speaking of silly, I'd like to give a shout out to Torek00, who uh, says, Given the general tone of the game, I wouldn't be surprised if the currency here is pronounced libido. <laughs> libido. Uh, I do uh, think that was from an episode before they actually said LB dollars out loud, but... Uh, Either way, yeah, libido probably makes more sense than LB dollars, frankly. Okay, let me see. It's the one on Travis's left. And also, shout out to uh, Yornick, who says that the M on these uh, mission indicators actually stands for money. Missions mean money. Make more money, motherfucker. <laughs> and LB stands for, obviously, Lord Byron. He's a very popular historical character in Santa Destroy. Has annual parades in his honor, all that. <laughs> uh, the one on the left. Yes, good. Don't say it or I'll fucking... God damn you! I think it's the same thing with tougher bad guys, and I don't like that. Mm -mm. Uh. What the? I hit Y because it's usually immediately killing the guy on the ground behind me. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna give it at least one more shot, of course. I think I prefer the original, but I'm not actually sure. Because it's been so long, I don't quite remember. Fuck! I hate these missions. It's so difficult not to take any hits at all when you're in the thick of it. And you can't really kite them around because they're all just as fast as each other and just as fast as you. I mean, I had a feeling it was going to be no good, but now I've made sure. Oh, yes. Damn it, I still didn't check that. That's right, I have to bring up the achievements myself. Uh, achievement unlocked Beachhead. You have defeated the rank 6 assassin, Holly Summers. Well played, me. Well played. Yes, it's been, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's my understanding that the, uh... Oh, I see. Ah! Yeah, I'll just bring myself closer to the store. It's my understanding that they don't bring the open world back in 2, with No More Heroes 2, uh, but they do in 3. And I mention this because I sincerely hope that, uh, the, the open world theme in uh, 3 is like a play on this music, a remix. Oh, and uh, shout out to my friend Blazing Fox Spirit, who says to me, of his own volition, for what it's worth, No More Heroes 1 is the most grounded of the bunch. 
Oh no. Hello, Travis. Included a link to the trailer for No More Heroes 3, but I wasn't sure if I should watch it or not. In case there were like accidental, like minor spoilers. Pizza Butt, the finale. Chain restaurant Pizza Butt plans to open up in Santa Destroy to crush their plans, kill their CEO. Tiger Hall. Kill as many as you can within the time limit. Mission ends and time runs out. There you are. Thinking about it. But I guess we'll do Tiger Hall. And yours as well, whatever that means. I found it! You know, I will do exactly what they told me to do, and I will check the map. What do you know? It is on the beach. Just like they told me! Away, Spell Tiger! Oh, fucking fence. Man, I knew I was gonna make the corner from this building. I didn't. Toy Store. Pile Driver Realty. Yes, that's right. My incredible psychic powers tell me that Suda51 really likes wrestling. To be perfectly honest, I'm kind of surprised we, uh, none of these guys have been a luchador so far. Absolutely cannot get off these things until they have come to a complete stop. Mission start! We're not even in a hall. Oh, that's a lot of dudes! Oh, shit! Yes, it really does, uh, pay attention to whether or not they die. Would you stop shooting me in the back? Oh, all right, fine. Of yours. Would you stop? It was at this moment he knew he should not have just brought a pistol. I mean, doesn't every single soldier literally get assigned their own rifle? I'm just saying. There are many like it, but this one is mine. That's what pop culture says to me. Okay, fine, let's kill your buddy instead. You didn't have to see this happen! Look at it like the way the Cthulhu cultists do, my friend. Who will be eaten first? It's not about being rewarded, it's about being punished the least. There you go! Now all your problems have gone away and you don't have to watch all your buddies get carved to pieces. Oh, fuck. Never kill all those guys. Ah, oh, fuck. Did you just die already? Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's right, you can't run here. 
I wanted to make sure that guy was no longer alive. Oh! I was going to kill everyone or fail. $5,000. Now, I made a ton more money that time than the mine thing, but also a bunch of people died, so I can understand. Oh, that one's priced differently. Things to be done. Come on, brother. Take a good look around. It's like this is the uh, the job guy's like secret identity. So that's why he wears a mask. This is literally his day job. Ooh, a new one. Mount Fuji. Jacket printed with an image of Mount Fuji, the tallest mountain in Japan. Designed to appeal to tourists. What was it? Yes, that's right. The, uh, the stereotypical middle line of a haiku is, It's snowing on Mount Fuji. That's what I was thinking of. are new. How surprising. Control Disorder. A simple design of white on black. Uses a cool military font. I saw the word control at the top, and it was just enough like the logo to the game control that I was really thrown off for a second. Given that it wouldn't come out for another... what is it? 12 years? Psycho. For the pink and fluffy psycho in all of us, the letters are slightly raised. You say psycho like it's a bad thing. I Heart Chainsaw. A t-shirt from the 1983 American splatter movie, The Chainsaw Man, known as Devil's Killer in Asia. The same t-shirt, The Killer War in the movie, can now be yours. Okay, but un uh, unironically, that would be super popular, a movie franchise where they did that. Like letting you buy the, own, the, the same dumbass t-shirt. Bare Knuckle features the print of a curled fist, a simple design and vibrant red colors. Moonwalk, a lime-based color overlay to the monotone photo print. Monotone. Well, has purple neck accents, so it does. Anarchy! Black, the color of anarchism. A striking symbol printed on top. Very punk. Jaw! A brilliant, bold t-shirt in Rasta colors. Let the world know you love reggae. I'm not going to touch that one with a ten-foot pole. Love tits! A blinding t-shirt that uses pastel colors and a provocative print. Sold mainly to tourists. Sniper victim. If you run, you'll only die tired. A military design of the sniper's crosshair aiming for the chest. Offers a simple message. Running away only means you'll die tired. 680k calorie. A t-shirt produced by Burger Suplex, the burger shop. Their popular Tiger Suplex burger contains a filling 680 kilocalories. I didn't know that was a measurement. Viva Mexico! Merchandise of the Mexican pro wrestler Lucha Libre. I think I've seen this one. Blue mask print drives fans wild. Doc Fight Yokozuna? T-shirt printed as fighting dogs from Japan. Yokozuna is the title given to the strongest of fighting dogs. That is not true. It is a title given to the strongest of sumo wrestlers. Bolt! Lightning Bolt. Bears a Lightning Bolt print that slices down the body. A simple but powerful design. Also, they used the wrong version of Bears, but I'll allow it because this game was made in Japan and it's a homonym. 
or is that Hama Nim? No, Hama Phone. Skull, a giant skull printed on black. The simple black and white design makes a striking statement of existence. Metallic gold print glitters in a purple background symbol, yet it makes you feel like a celebrity. How odd. Tigers. The tiger is baseball uniform printed on a t-shirt. Doesn't really work with a blend. I'm already wearing a less dark black uh, jacket, but uh, what the hell? Snapping turtle, navy blue boot cut jeans. The diagonal scratch damage adds character. Well, unfortunately, it's 2023, and I'm told boot cut jeans are anathema, so uh, I'm gonna back away from that. <laughs> I certainly don't make the rules. Santa Destroy, a belt inspired by the flag of Santa Destroy. It's red, white, and blue colors are quite eye-catching. I just got that that's to uh, emphasize the American thing. Take care now, brother. You too, my good dude. You too. It'd be kind of funny if you could also buy gloves. Oh, look at that. I know, but, you know, still probably better not to hit a cop. Oh, I've tried to get this one before, haven't I? Uh, that's weird. Guy stopped me dead in my tracks. I wasn't even going in that direction. <laughs> Fucking A, man! I distinctly remember stopping here and getting all self-conscious about it because I stabbed the ground four million times. Or maybe it was one of the other triangle bits. I don't know. Orange, orange, orange. Okay. I know. You want that, right? Okay. All right, mash that button. One minute. much because I'm just mashing the button as fast as I can. No one else is ever even in here, man. Ah, but I'll allow it because, again, Wii game from 2007. Strength increased a little bit! Alright, now for one that isn't quite so difficult. The squats! Increase my health.
miscounted. Maximum vitality increased a little bit. Thanks, Ryu. Training is not over. Oh, and there's the timer. That was actually really, really good timing. Wow. Uh. Well, I definitely don't have enough Lovikov balls. What happens if I do visit him when I don't have enough? Does he just tell me to fuck off or what? Oh, that's weird. If I tell, if I don't have enough, he just doesn't beat me up. That's what happens. <laughs> thrown off there. I thought that was, uh, right in the middle. Well, whatever. Can I actually get out from anywhere? Just, oh yeah, I guess we could just take the shortcut from the front. I guess I just never did. Oh, also that guy is clearly not in there. I'm just saying. Huh? What do you want? Collect all seven balls and bring them to me. Keep practicing. You got it, man. I swear there's more bottles every time I visit that guy. Oh, yeah, look at that. Well, I guess I should head back and save, then. I think next time I will try the challenge of the 100 dudes again. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. Odd. There's part of the fence just there. Oh, and you haven't checked the video store, but I guess I can do that next time as well. Uh, you didn't see anything. Number six assassin. Uh, there was a bug there. Shut up. Huh, he must have those tires custom made. They don't even match. Home sweet home. Okay. So I'll just check my answering machine because it's 2007. There are no messages. I remember seeing a guy my age on Twitter talking about uh, overhearing his daughter recording her uh, voicemail message for her cell phone. I just really like how different things are now than when I was actually a kid and when you would actually be expected to call people and talk for hours on end just for fun uh, because the voicemail message she was recording was hi you've reached name uh, I can't answer right now so uh, hang the phone up and send me a text bye under no circumstances is she interested in actually checking her voicemail. And I, uh, I can appreciate that, to be perfectly frank. Wacha! That's right, it doesn't go that quickly. Meow. All right. I'm burning dog face. Hmm. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play No More Heroes. When you head out to do those things I mentioned just earlier. Bye, Holly. Till then, take good care of yourselves and have a great day, burning dog fans. Later.